Okay everyone, welcome back to attempt number four at this video. This is going to be beginnerc++.com's tutorial series on learning C++. I believe that this is episode 48. I think I've said 47, 49, and 46 in the last three tries. So I'm going to go for the one I haven't said yet and say 48. We're going to be comparing and contrasting vector and list a little bit more and showing you the difference between their iterators. And we're going to be talking about insert as well. Um, you're going to notice that I do have some things already written out. Uh, I've minimized the include area just to give us a little bit of extra space. Just IO stream vector and list. I've also taken the time to declare a few different containers and iterators here. We have a vector of ints called IVEC, a, vec a list of ints called ILIST, a vector uh, iterator called VIT, and a list iterator called LIT. We've initialized both of these arrays to be holding the values 0 through 90 um, with increments of 10 because we're adding i multiplied by 10 in our uh, pushback. It's going to be in ascending order, 0 in the first position, 90 in the final. And then all we have here are two output loops. So for now, that's all we have. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about insert because there are times when maybe you'll forget to put something into an array or a vector or something of that nature. Or you, maybe you don't have the user data yet and you need to stuff it in after they input something. Well, that's what insert is used for. And I want to show you guys how that's done. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, a quick moment and talk about the differences between iterators here. A list iterator is what's known as a sequential iterator, meaning that before you begin, uh, I'm actually going to take four comment lines here. Before you, or well, when we first initialize uh, ILIST iterator, which is going to be known as LIT, and we are going to set that equal to ilist.begin. That means that the iterator is now pointing to there. So what that means is that when we increment it, each time we increment it, it's going to move over a spot. So when we do an uh, L it plus plus it's then pointing to the 10 and when we do an insert it inserts to the right so if we were to iterate by one and then do an insert it would insert whatever the number is let's say three here and then you'd have 20 30 40 up to 90 but in this case let's just start with uh, a normal zero and we'll say 20 30 40 and off to the sunset. But each time we, we slide that iterator over, we have to do L it plus plus. There is no like L it plus equals five. There's none of that. Whereas with a vector iterator, it's the exact opposite. It's what's known as a random access iterator, meaning you can change the value however you see fit. So say we have that same, uh, set of numbers. I'm trying really hard not to call it an array because that's just how my mind wants to say it. And if we start with uh, v it dot oops v it equals i vec dot begin it's going to start here. Oop, and that's a capital I. So it's the same idea, it's going to start again right there. And we can say iterator points to zero. But we can also have the flexibility of saying v it plus plus, and that'll slide it over one. We can say v it plus equals one. We can say v it plus equals five. All of those are valid with a random access iterator. So let me show you what I mean here. Let's say that I wanted to add a value to the third position 
in uh, our list and our vector. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take l it plus plus, and we're going to repeat that. So now it's pointing at 10, 20, and since we want it in the third place, I think that means that we should just leave it right there because it starts off points 0, points 10, inserts right. Okay, so that'll put it into the third. If I were to do a third one here, that would mean that we are now pointing at the second location, or well, the... Remember, we have to count 0 first as well. Sorry, dryer went off. So, um, we if we do a third, it's going to actually be pointing to the 20, which means it will insert after it. So if it's pointing to the 10 and we want to insert into the third spot, we have to do two of these. So, okay. Now, rather than doing that with our V, we are going to say VIT plus equals two. And what we're going to do here is we'll say I list dot insert. And then we take L it, which is our iterator for our list. And then we're going to insert the number 867. And we need a semicolon there. And we're going to do the same thing with IVEC. And we are going to use V it. And we will add in the value 5309 because I needed to do a, a quick tribute to that 80s song that we all know and love. So when we give this a run, let's take a look at what happens. Hopefully not a bug. Yeah. Nice. First try. So now the third position in both of these. I should have done this in the other order because I forgot I output vector before list. But aside from that, you'll notice that the third number now in the list and the vector respectively is what we have used the insert to do. So in this case, I think that it's very important to to take away two things from this lesson. Um, wow, I'm going to be able to wrap this up early. The other two times I spent way more time than this. Number one, when you first start an iterator, it starts by pointing just to the left of one. So when you iterate it that first time, it's then pointing at the zero, and then it's pointing at the 10. And so when it's pointing at those numbers, you are going when you do an insert, you insert to the right. Now, I want to show you guys one other thing before I, I stop this. You, you can insert more than one value at a time, as long as it's the same value. So say I wanted to insert uh, 8, 6, 7, 5 times into our list. I would just type 5 and then a comma followed by 8, 6, 7. And so now we have 8, 6, 7. And for some odd reason it is... Oh, okay, yeah, that is five. Or wait, no. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, I guess it is five. My eyes were just... For some reason, my eyes said that's only four. So, um, yeah. You can add in as many as you want using that uh, sort of three part. The first part is always the iterator. Um, the second part can either be a number singular that you are adding, or it can be how many times you are going to add the third number to the uh, list or the vector. And we can do the same thing for vector, just to show you guys that. So now we have paid a ridiculous amount of homage to the, uh, the 80s hit. So with all that being said, I hope you guys will understand at least the fundamental differences between random access and sequential uh, iterators. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, you know, well, if we have to iterate like that, why would we ever want to use uh, a list? You know, why? What's the point of that? And in the next video, I'm going to show you guys that because I think that actually, you know what? I have I have a minute to do it here. 
So what I'm actually going to do is something a little crazy. Um, so what I'll do here is I'm going to take the current offset, or well, the current value of lit, which is usually known as an offset. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert our vector into our list. So what I will do is just type in i vec dot begin, and then comma i vec dot end. And I believe that that's the correct syntax. I'm not positive, but we'll give this a run. Let's see if that works. And it looks like that has worked out. Um, the, so yeah, we have the five 309s there from the insert to our vector, and then all the numbers have been produced twice, which is what we would expect. So, and I'm not saying that vector cannot do this, because it can, but there is one other thing that I want to show you, but I don't I might have time for it. I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm going to get rid of this insert. Actually, I can't do that because I don't have a second list. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it like this for now. Um, so what I wanted to leave this off as is list has a lot of functionality. Um, and list is going to be the first, I suppose you can say, real data type that we're getting into that you will see in your professional life. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you guys will join me next time. I'm sorry I said, you know, five minutes ago that this would be a short video. It never works out that way. So I hope that you guys will join me again. Next lesson is going to probably be about splice, erase, and I don't know what else. We'll see. So I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.